Welcome to ADHD Whiskey, my name is Matt, and today on the channel we're performing a colonoscopy. A colonoscopy. My 13th colonoscopy to be exact. Today we're reviewing 13th Colony Double Oaked Bourbon Whiskey. This cask strength son of a biatch is the same color as a cup of coffee that I brewed earlier. At least, appears to be so. This 13th Colony Distillers cask strength small batch double oaked bourbon whiskey is handcrafted and is produced and bottled by 13th Colony in friggin Georgia. This is bottle number 166 batch 524 and rings in at the low low proof of 136.8 making it 68.4% alcohol by volume. Aged in two new bourbon barrels, this 13th Colony cask strength bourbon may well be the cell's most decadent nightcap. This bottle is shaped like the business end of a breastfeeding mother's life supply. It has a government warning on it, so you know it's real. It's got a UPC code on it, so it can be scanned with laser beams. Last year, I did not get my hands on a bottle of the 13th Colony Double Oaked Bourbon, but I did review it in a sample, and I do believe I was like, wow, that's very impressive, but extra super potent. Typically, before I review a whiskey like this, what I do is normally take a couple sips, you know, let the bottle open up a bit, but in this situation, I'm doing this bottle dirty. If any bottle on the planet, Janet, deserved a little bit of breathing time, it would be this double oaked son of a bitch. But I thought in this circumstance, it would be much more fun to uncork this thing for the very first time and get my initial reaction. America? watched or read any reviews on this bottle, but the word on the street is it's a super solid pour. Now, I do think it's very important before I even smell or taste this for the viewers to know, if you don't know already, I'm not a huge fan of double oaked or toasted bourbon. Sometimes it comes across as raw lumber or in some situation wood stain or I don't know, like a Menards or Lowe's or Home Depot. But that doesn't mean that I won't give it a fair shake. I will give this baby a fair shake and that is my guarantee to you. The color on this is ridiculous. In this glass is the darkest coffee I could possibly brew. And this glass is double oaked 13th Colony Bourbon. Given this extra dark double oaked cask strength handcrafted small batch 13th Colony Bourbon, a little bit of a spin job, a little SJ we call it, Okay. The nose is very nice. Tons of dark chocolate and espresso notes are coming off the nose of this 13th Colony Double Oaked Small Batch Handcrafted Bourbon. Wow. Like dark chocolate covered strawberries and dark chocolate covered espresso beans. It's like the really good dark chocolate that you find at the natural grocery store, the organic store, the one that's like 88% cacao, that also costs $88 per ounce. There's a little bit of agriculture built into this as well, almost like a well-fertilized soil. And by well-fertilized, I mean like, not by poop, but by like magic. It's like if you picked up a handful of soil at a strawberry patch that has a bunch of strawberries mushed in it and you just... This bourbon possesses none of the notes that I typically get off a double barreled bourbon that I dislike. No stain, no varnish. It's just an overall like extra dark, glorious, like super concentrated landfill whiskey. Yeah, wow. The nose has me extra excited to get into the palate. So let's put this small batch, son of a batch, down the hatch. Here we go. Wow. 
Wow. <laughs> Holy shit. That gave me goosebumps underneath my sweater. That is, damn, that's good. Oh, wow. I was not expecting to like that that much. Last year's, I felt was like very good, but like over concentrated in a double oak sort of way. This might, this is on a whole new level. This is, what the hell is that? What the hell is even that? That's the closest thing I've tasted to Jack Daniels Koi Hill in, that's, that's it. That's a darker version of Jack Daniels Koi Hill. That is wild. Second sip. Oh, wow. Yeah. Are you with that That is so good. It's an overwhelming mouth experience. It does so much on the palate. There are twists and turns, like a rally car driver on amphetamine salts. It's just like, just that's out of control. That is so damn good. For a bourbon that's almost 137 proof, it is complex. Any long-term viewers out there might recognize this note, this famous ADHD whiskey tasting note, freaking blueberries. Blueberries up front, dark chocolate, espresso. You could sit here and dissect it for so long and just pull different things out of it. It's just like a full range, a full range of flavors. From sweet to spicy to barrel char, it's just kind of ridiculous. It's just a ridiculous situation there. I did pay $200 for the bottle and I am not mad about it at all. Two sips deep and this is guaranteed to be in the running for whiskey of the year, guaranteed. One of the cool things about it is it's not super traditional Kentucky bourbon or like Tennessee whiskey, but if you had to like lean one way or another, it does kind of lean towards like a Jack Daniels kind of like yeasty fruity sweetness but in a darker double oaked way. I don't know what else to say about it. I can't wait to revisit this bottle on a different day to see if what I'm tasting today kind of like continues into the future. But today what I'm tasting is absolutely incredible. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and say that the 2023 release of 13th Colony Distillery's Cask Strength Double Oaked Bourbon Whiskey Handcrafted Small Batch, Batch, 524, 136.8 proof, receives a score from me today of 8.9, 8.9? If you love high proof, high powered, highly concentrated bourbon whiskey that'll just blow you off of your seat and blow your boxer briefs off your behind, then I would say if you have the ability to get your hands on one, then do it. It is so damn good. That is a major surprise in the best of ways. When it gives such a positive review, I kind of like get a bit worried. Like what if it's just today? What if I'm wrong? What if my palate is just like in a weird mood? So take the 8.9 with a grain of salt. I will revisit it later and I will talk about it more as we move forward. But first taste, first pop, Good grief, that is fantastic. That's gonna do it for this review. Thank you for watching. Thank you for hitting the thumbs up. Thank you for subscribing to the channel. My name is Matt, this is ADHD Whiskey, and like I always say, keep your head in the clouds, but your mind on, I don't know, just doing shit awesome. You know what I mean? Even if you're bad at what you do, then do the best you can badly do at it. If you're presented a task in the bedroom by your significant other that you don't think you can perform, you look at yourself in the mirror, you suck in your stomach, you pump out your chest, you give yourself a little bottom wiggle and you tell yourself, damn it, I got this. And then two minutes later, you look in the same mirror and you go, next time. Next time you can you can do it. Next time it's all you. But sometimes you'll surprise yourself and you'll pump out something as good as 13th Colony Double Oaked. And you might just provide a double O.
right? Good night. I love you. Bye. Toodle. See you later. Goodbye.